Hi, this is Pastor Dale O'Shills from Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for our devotional time today, and we're going to continue to talk about attitudes. You know, one of the books of the Bible that really stresses uh, by the story itself uh, the impact of attitudes is the Old Testament book of Nehemiah. It's a story of a man who was called by God to do an incredible work of the rebuilding of the walls in Jerusalem. It was an amazing time. Uh, the walls had been broken down, and so Nehemiah comes back into the city of Jerusalem to charge up the people there to rebuild those walls. And he began the process, and they actually started with good attitudes. Nehemiah uh, began to raise up the vision, and people started to be excited about doing something that would change their circumstance and their situation. However, what happened following that was that opposition arose. See, anytime you try to do good, I promise you that, uh, that, that there'll be things that'll come against you. You'll have opposition, that the devil never likes it when you're trying to make progress. And so there were things that rose up against Nehemiah and Nehemiah and the workers as well. And so over a period of time, uh, they began to be wearied in their work. Let me read you a passage here in Nehemiah chapter 4. I'm going to read from verse, uh, verse number 10. It says, The people of Judah began to complain. The workers were getting tired, and there is, a, there is so much rubble to be moved. We will never be able to build the wall by ourselves. I want you to notice that in the midst of this struggle with the opposition they were facing, that the folks grew tired. They, they began to develop not only a physical weariness, but, uh, but a soul weariness, a weariness in their inner being a weariness in their attitudes. And so where they had started strong and they had an amazing attitude of enthusiasm to begin, they began to flag over time because of the things they were facing. Maybe that's where you are today. Maybe there's some tough things you're going through in life. Maybe those tough things, those points of opposition are about to wear you down. Well, Nehemiah jumped in and re-encouraged them and recharged them and readjusted their attitudes, and they actually accomplished this great project because they made the adjustment that was necessary. Let me encourage you. Don't you give up. Don't grow tired. Don't, don't grow weary. Realize that your attitude can carry you through. Believe and trust that your best is ahead of you.